Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to take a chart like this that has sales by week by year and turn it into something like this, a beautiful radial bubble chart. And I'm going to show you how to do it in just eight steps. Let's get to it. If you're new here, my name's Andy. I'm the global head coach of the data school and I created this channel to help you become great at Tableau. If you enjoy what you're seeing, please give it a like. And better yet, leave me a comment with your favorite part. And don't forget to click on subscribe. I create lots of content and I don't want you to miss out on any of it. If you want to learn something advanced, stick around after the end of this video. I'm going to show you how to use parameters to adjust the spread of the dots in the view and the granularity of the dots in the view. I think you're going to like it. We're going to be working with two files. The first one is Superstore that comes with Tableau. The second one is this Excel spreadsheet, which I have a link to in the description, that has every date between 2010 and 2030. In Tableau, let's open an Excel file and choose the dates file that you've downloaded. Click on open and drag the day sheet over to the right hand side. Add another connection. Again, choose Microsoft Excel. And this time you wanna pick your Superstore data source. Click on open. Double click on the day table on the right hand side to open up the join window. Choose sample Superstore from the left hand side and drag orders over to the right. In our join, we want to choose date on the left, and on the right hand side, we want to choose order date. Change your join type to be a left join. This ensures that we get every date between 2010 and 2030 and those that match from Superstore. Close the join window. On the upper right, choose to add a filter. Click on add, choose order date, and click on okay. Choose years, and then next, and notice how we have null years. So those are all of the years that don't fall within the Superstore dataset. So choose null and exclude. Click on okay. Click on okay again. And now we've built a data source that has every date between 2020 and 2023, even if there's no sales for Superstore. Go to sheet one. We're gonna need to build six calculations. Create a new calculated field. Call this one, one dot angle we're gonna create a level of detail expression to count the number of days that are in each year. Type fixed, and then the year of order date, colon, and we wanna count the number of days, so count distinct, of order date. Close off the mustachio. But what we wanna do is, we wanna take 360 degrees and divide it by the number of days in the view. So it's gonna take 360 degrees divided by 365, and it's gonna increment that as we go around the circle. Click on OK. Create the second calculation. Let's call this one two dot angle running total. And you guessed it, it's going to be a running sum calculation, and it's going to be the sum of our angle calculation. Click on OK. Let's create calculation number three. This is going to be the angle in radians. The function here is radians, of our angle running total. Click on OK. Create another calculated field. Let's call this one 4.radius. Here, we need to get the average of the year, and we want to subtract from that the first year in the data set. So that's going to be the min of the year field. Close off the mustachio. But now that has to be aggregated. So let's wrap that level of detail expression in an average. Now we want to wrap that whole thing in brackets so that we get one number back and we're gonna multiply that by 10. That's gonna give us the spread between each of the radials. And we're gonna add 45, which is gonna tell us how far we wanna go from the center. And again, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna show you how to use parameters for those two values instead. Click on okay. So now we need to create our X and Y calculations. Create a new calculated field. This is going to be for our X axis. Our function here is the sine of the angle in radians times the radius. Click on OK. Create another calculated field. Let's call this one 6.y for our y-axis. This one is going to be the cosine of the angle in radians times the radius. Click on OK. Now let's build the view. X goes on to the columns and Y goes on to the rows. Drag order date onto color so that we get a color for each year. And then right click and drag order date to the detail shelf and choose order date discrete. This is going to give us a dot for every date in all of the years. Let's configure the table calculations. On the X field, choose Edit Table Calculation. Choose Specific Dimensions, 
and then order date. On the Y field, choose Edit Table Calculation, Specific Dimensions, and Order Date, and close out the view. And notice we've got January right at the top. Change the mark type to a circle and drag sales onto the size. A little bit of formatting and we're all done. And there you go, we've built our first radial bubble plot. If you wanna learn how to customize this even more, stick around for a few more minutes. If not, thanks for joining, I appreciate you watching. Now, if you have stuck around, I'm gonna show you how to use parameters to control how many dots are in the view. We're gonna be able to choose between month and week and day. And we're also gonna be able to control how far the dots start from the center and how far they're spread out from each other. Let's create a new parameter. We're gonna call this one our date level parameter. Our data type is a string and let's make it a list. In the value, we're gonna type in month and week and day. Click on OK. Right click on that parameter and choose show parameter. Now we need to tell Tableau what to do with that parameter. So we need to create another calculated field. I'm gonna call this one date level. We're going to evaluate the parameter with a case statement. So case on our parameter, when month is selected, then we want to return the month of order date. When week is selected, then we're going to return the week of order date. Now both of those are returning a number, 1 through 12 for the month or 1 through 52 for the week. And when they pick day, we want it to return the day of the year. So for that, we're gonna say then, and we're gonna use the date part function, and inside of single quotes, we're gonna type day of year, all in lowercase, all is one word. That's gonna return the number of the day of the year, comma, order date. And then close off the case statement with an end. Click on okay. Let's edit our angle calculation. And instead of count distinct of order date, we wanna put in here, count distinct of our date level. Click on OK. And notice now we have fewer dots because we're looking at the month level. If we switch it to week, we now have 52 dots, one for each week. And day, we now have marks for every single day. Last two things are to adjust the spacing of the dots. Let's create another parameter. The first one we're going to call distance from center. The data type is an integer. Let's start off with the value of 45. Click on OK. Let's create another parameter. This one is going to be spacing between radials. Again, let's make it an integer, and let's set the default to 10. Click on OK, and show both of those parameters. Right-click on distance from center, choose show parameter. Right-click on spacing between radials, and choose show parameter. Last thing to do is update our radius calculation. Right-click on radius, and choose edit. Instead of 10, we want to use our spacing calculation. Let's hit apply and let's see what happens. Change the value in your parameter, let's say to five, and we can see things moving farther away from the center. If we make it 40, we get things going closer to the center. Now back in our calculation, we want to replace 45 with our distance from center. Click on okay. And now when we change that value, let's say to 20, you'll see we get closer to the center. Make it 70, and it goes farther from the center. And now we have control over the level of granularity of the dots, and also how far the dots are spread out. I hope you found that additional tip useful. Thanks for sticking around, and have a great day.